Let us briefly look into the four different types of phases of matter, beginning with solids and ending with plasma. So what exactly characterizes solid objects? Well, all solid objects have the ability to resist forces. In other words, when a force acts on a solid object, that solid object's volume, shape, and size remains unchanged. For example, if I take the following marker, a solid object, and I apply a force on the solid object, the volume, shape, and size of this object remains relatively unchanged. Now, of course, we can argue that to some extent the object is actually compressed when we're applying the forces, but to a very large extent, the shape, volume, and size of the object remains unchanged, so we make the assumption that our solid objects completely resist forces. So once again, solid objects are able to maintain their shape, size, and volume even when a large force is acting on that object. Now let's move on to the second phase of matter, liquid. Now liquids, just like solids, have the ability to resist change in volume. So the volume of our liquid remains constant when a force is applied to that liquid. We have to apply very, very, very high force on our liquid to actually change that liquid's volume. So that means the volume of the liquid remains constant. Now, unlike solids, liquids are not able to maintain their shape, a fixed shape. In fact, if you take a liquid and you pour a liquid from one container to another container, that liquid will take the shape of the new container. So, liquids are not able to maintain a fixed shape and size and instead assume the shape of the container they are in. However, as with solids, it is very difficult to compress the liquid, and that means the volume of our liquid remains relatively constant. What about gases? So, gas is the third phase of matter, and gases neither have a fixed shape nor a fixed volume. And unlike liquids and solids, gases are able to completely fill the container that they are in. So for example, if I take this container and I fill that container with a certain gas, the gas molecules will spread out throughout the entire container, as compared to the liquid, where all the liquid rushes to the bottom of the container. Now, let's examine a less common but the fourth type of phase of matter, and this is known as plasma. So plasma only exists where there are very high temperatures, and it consists of atoms that have been ionized. In other words, we took away electrons from those atoms. Now, a very common example of plasma is on the sun. So the sun has very high temperatures and this creates, this ionizes the atoms on the sun creating this fourth phase of matter known as plasma. So we take an atom, let's suppose the atom is composed of two electrons, we ionize that atom, we take away that electron because we have enough energy which comes from the high temperatures and we pluck that electron away, we ionize this atom, and now the atom has a positive charge because it has one less electron. 